Hello Mina, hello Jack, hello everyone else who's watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book on Storytime with Grandad is from Topsy and Tim, and it's Topsy and Tim Move House. Topsy and Tim were born in a little house on a big, busy road. It was a cosy home, but the traffic on the road was noisy and dangerous. Mummy and Dad decided they would have to move house. There was a lot of work to do before the removal men came. Dad took down all the curtains, then he took the curtains up. That was a dusty job. Mummy kept finding things to wash and scrub, even though they looked clean already. She put all the breakable things ready for the removal men to pack. Topsy and Tim packed their own toys and treasures. The removal men came in an enormous van. They were cheerful and friendly, but they wasted no time. Whenever anyone sat down on anything, the removal men came to take it away. They said, Oops, a blooming buttercup. It should have been fun, but Topsy and Tim grew sadder as their old home grew emptier. Soon the old house was quite empty. It was time to get in the car to follow the removal van to their new home. They made Kitty comfortable in her travelling basket. Kitty got fidgety when the car began to move. Tim thought she needed a cuddle. It took him a long time to open her basket. As soon as he did, Kitty sprang out. She jumped onto Mummy, and before anyone could stop her, she was out of the car window and away. They could not find Kitty anywhere. Topsy and Tim were too miserable to look at their new house. The removal men asked them to help. Their new next door neighbour made a lovely surprise picnic tea, but nothing could cheer up Topsy and Tim. I've had a bright idea, said Dad. He drove away in the car. Mummy was not very pleased with him. There was such a lot to do. Topsy and Tim carried their old deck chairs into their new garden shed. Let's climb that tree, said Tim. But Topsy was not speaking to him because he had let Kitty out. Dad came back. He was holding Kitty tight and carefully. My bright idea was right, he said. Kitty had gone back to the old house. Mummy rubbed some butter on Kitty's paws. Then she made a safe, cosy cat bed. By the time that Kitty has licked that tasty butter off her paws, she will be feeling at home here, said Mummy. Come on, Tim, said Topsy. Let's climb that tree in the garden. Topsy and Tim's bunks were not ready at bedtime. Mummy made up a divan and they went to bed side by side. Good night. Sleep tight, said Mummy. Something heavy landed on the coverlet. Topsy and Tim knew what it was. Hello, Kitty, they whispered. Kitty purred very loudly. Soon they all fell asleep in their new home. The end. Bye bye Mila, bye bye Jack. Goodbye everyone else who's been watching. Bye.